What's up guys, Mike B AK Phony here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Warframe and clans and Broframe and alliances and all that stuff. So check this out. Broframe being, you know, number one, uh, we we have uh, some very specific problems. Those problems stem around the fact that we just have too many goddamn people. We have a lot of people in our clan right now. We have, I want to say, like 7,000 something, right? Uh, by the way, this is all pre-recorded footage I've gone through and I was playing around with the Seer uh, for the first time and it is, uh, the zoom on it is, it is quite interesting. It goes a little too far for like standard pistol use, but I think once I get leveled up, I'll make a video about it and uh, I'll tell you guys what I think. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about clans. So check this out. I got an email from uh, Digital Streams and they were like, hey, your clan is just way too big. So we're going to split that. We're going to split it up. And everybody knew this was coming. But the way it works is I have to pick like a handful of, of warlords to take over these new clans. I already have a pretty good list already lined up. Uh, and I realize there's a lot of people out there that want to get in on this on this whole thing, but uh, I do have a couple confirmed already. And even though we have enough to make, I think probably if they remove the pending, which they have to remove pending, uh, <laughs> if they remove pending, then we're gonna have something along the lines of uh, I think seven total uh, clans because they got 1,200 or so, but it's not gonna drop us below 7,000 uh, or below 6,000 like total in the in the clan. Uh, so we will not be able to, uh, create just six, we'll have to create seven to make up for the, you know, 100 people or whatever that's over the 6,000 number mark. Anyways, so, I have to go through and pick a whole bunch of people. I have a dummy account that I'm going to use for this. I hope I get a dummy account still in the clan. I'm sure, sure it is. I can't do invites right now, as most of you guys know. Uh, no one can do invites right now, so that sucks. But, um... Every new break off of, of the clan, uh, underneath the alliance is going to have its own name. <sighs> Now, the way the alliance system is supposed to work is, like, for example, the alliance is going to be Broframe, obviously, okay? Uh, the, uh, the breakout clans are going to be Broframe something, okay? Like, that's the way that they explained for me to do it. They're like, you're, you're, as an example, it was Tenno Clan, right? And then your, your first breakout underneath the alliance was Tenno Clan 1 and then Tenno Clan 2, right? So... Yesterday, me and Feem, who some of you guys have seen in the forums and everything, he's a very active uh, and very vocal and very well-spoken person, uh, representative of, of uh, Broframe. He's going to be taking over the first group. Like, I already have him de definitely picked out. Uh, the other ones that I picked out, some of them are, are temporary because we don't know how big the clan's going to be. And others are um, are definitely going to be permanent, like, like Squishy. I'm certain that Squishy's going to want a position in this when he totally deserves it. Um, so... The clans uh, that we that we broke off are going to be broken off in uh, by order of activity according to Digital Extremes. So, since their initial system is or their their way of doing this outside of of my like cooperation is they're going to be going by uh, XP. I'm going to assume that XP is going to be the way that they split this thing up. When they say activity. I don't think it's going to be, I seriously doubt it's going to be, oh yeah, well if you just logged in for the first time in like eight months, then yeah, you're going to be able to get like first in line. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> their system is based off XP per the original email. So if you've leveled up lots of stuff and you're very well experienced in uh, in Broframe, chances are you're going to be in uh, in a very active guild. Okay? That's pretty cool. I think that's great. Uh, that means the people who play more casually will be in a casual guild. Um, and at this point, we already have so many things. We have so much stuff in the the clan or in the dojo. There's not really a whole lot of stuff you're gonna be missing out on. You know, like the aquarium's coming out. Okay, <laughs> you guys might need to do something about getting that aquarium, but that's pretty much it. Now, of course, there's room for people to move around afterwards, but I do like the fact that they're gonna be sorting it by activity, and I'm okay with splitting things off from there uh, to make smaller clans. So now let me go into that. Uh, actually, no, let me finish off here. Uh, so what's gonna happen is because it's sorted by activity. Your first, I would say probably three or four clans are going to be, uh, they are definitely going to be uh, full of, of, of people who, who, who play probably within the past like, you know, 30, 60 days. The last couple, the last like two, maybe even three, uh, will be basically dead. And that sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. There's sort of bad activity. If you've not played in a long ass time, then you really have nobody, you know, nobody to play with yourself. <laughs> if you level up just a Bratton or something like that, and you're like, well, I don't want to play Platinum for anything, and I don't feel like leveling up this or buying slots or whatever, then guess what? You're going to be stuck with everybody else who's just like you, which you should be okay with. Can't get carried in this clan, apparently, which is awesome. <laughs> so, the you guys are all probably like, well, what's the clan's name? What's the clan names? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. 
<laughs> the um, so the enumerate the, the enumeration system could have been Greek, it could have been Roman numerals, it could have been Japanese, it could have been all this stuff. There's a lot of ideas that we kind of threw out there, uh, and one kind of came to mind because you know we had seven clans, and I was like, oh yeah, seven deadly sins. But then I was like, you know, I don't want to be limited to seven. Plus, I don't. With the other ones, with being them being numbers and everything, all that's gonna happen if we make numbers, and you guys all probably agree with me on this, if we have numbers, people are just gonna be mad that they're not in number one. You know, like, oh yeah, well I'm not in bro frame one, so you're not in the real bro frame. And I don't like that, you know, it's, it's a, for me it's like, let's pick something cool that's just a name that's not necessarily numbered, right? Uh, and and uh, that way people can feel more comfortable being in a clan that's not bro frame two, bro frame three, or whatever. Um, I'm sure some people are gonna draw their own lines in terms of like you know uh, where they where they're placed, but that's fine. Overall, everybody's equal in my eyes. I love all my children equally. I should put like an echo on that or something like that. Like the voice of God. So um, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> The names we ch what we chose, what I decided to go with. I'm a big fan of the Divine Comedy. Um, I grew up with the with, with those stories. I read some really like fuck, fucked up books when I was a kid, um, <laughs> both religious and science. So like you know, I know all the fucked up shit on both sides. Um, Divine Comedy is one of my favorites, right? Uh, it's a multi part type story. It's very very interesting. Uh, the game came out, and I was really, I was actually loved the game because I was such a big fan of the Divine Comedy, Dante's Inferno, and everything. Uh, I believe it was Purgatorio and all that stuff that comes after that, but I don't think they're making sequels to that. So, anyways, the Divine Comedy is pretty awesome because you have all of these names of different types of sins or categories of sinners. I'm not saying that Bro Frames went to sinners, okay? It's just a poem, all right? It's not, it's not anything, you know, <laughs> it's not straight from the Bible or anything. It's a poem, okay? Uh, but, to have names like, you know, we have violence, heresy, gluttony, lust, limbo, uh, greed, treachery, uh, and a couple more, I'm going off memory here. Um, so what, what we decided to do was basically use that. I think that's kind of awesome. So, the first one, I believe, is going to be bro frame, uh, violent. And I say first one, because that's the one that Fiend's taking over, and Fiend's like my second hand guy right now. Uh, because he's so active in the community. Um, Fiends will be taking over. He's got bro frame violence. Uh, we also have bro frame lust, gluttony, heresy. And overall, the clan, it's not going to be named this, I don't think. I think it's going to be just straight bro frame still. But if anybody wants to refer to us as an alliance, then we'll refer to it as bro frames inferno. I think that's kind of awesome. So, yes, that's it. Bro frames inferno. Sorry if you're like hardcore against, you know. Dante's Inferno or the Divine Comedy, but you know they, you can't please everybody. I try, but you just can't. There was a lot of really great responses towards this. Japanese was the other one, uh, the Japanese characters and all that stuff. But unfortunately, you can't put the characters in game. And again, that it's a numbering system, and people would be unhappy if they're not in number one. So what's cool also about going with the uh, the, the, the circles of hell, the nine circles of hell, is um, one, there are more, there's more circles than the seven daily sins, so that's kind of awesome. Uh, two, if we need to go into a purgatorio or whatever, then uh, we can, which opens up a whole other, uh, you know, set of, of, of levels, I guess, if we need to go that route. Um, but, we can reserve things for smaller groups, and that is like, that's the coolest thing in my opinion. I want to have bro frame strike teams, uh, that are smaller than the mass. So we have like a moon clan now, right? I want to have a team that is 10. Yeah, I want 10 people in, like 10 hardcore ass, like the, the top performers in our guild, or in our alliance, will be put into a 10-man clan, and they'll be part of our alliance. And they'll be like, bro frame uh, treachery or something, or bro frame greed or fraud. Like, that's awesome, because then, what's gonna happen is, if we have these, these clans in every bracket, and we make sure that we only Populate them with some of the best that Broframe has to offer. Like our, this is our Delta Force, right? This is these are our seals or whatever you want to call them. Uh, then we're almost guaranteed to be in the top uh, of every leaderboard. <laughs> that's all. That's all it is. We have some of the top performers in the game in our clan. Fuck War Bros. They don't have like they have. Well, sure, they have, you know what? Okay, fuck War Bros. Yeah, yeah, totally. But they do have uh, quite a few active people. That's for sure. But we have so many people, we can very easily make uh, a top 10 team that is just, uh, that is just, would just d dominate everybody. Um, we can also make 
a hundred man team that would just dominate everybody. And then we would still have enough people left over to have, you know, uh, bro frame, you know, violence or heresy or something like that. You know, a thousand person team be uh, just at the, at the top of the leaderboards. And I think that would look amazing. We will look at a leaderboard and say, and be like, okay, let's see, in this clan, oh, look at that, it's bro frame, you know, the treachery. Oh, look at this, bro frame greed. Oh, look at this, bro frame heresy. Like, that would be pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, that was, <laughs> just, just ignore what I just did there. <laughs> So, that is the way we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be submitting my paperwork, right? Because I actually submit uh, an email to them with all the information and all that. Um, the primary group is going to be, the alliance is still going to be bro frame. That's not going to change. So, if anybody asks, you're a bro frame. If they ask which, which, you know, one you're in, then you'll just tell them. So, oh, I'm in bro frame, you know, whatever. Bro frame lust or whatever. So, um, I am reserving limbo for the, the AFKers. So, if they're gonna sort, if they're gonna pull people out by activity, then the last couple groups is limbo. So if you end up in limbo, then chances are, in the way that they calculated the uh, uh, the separations uh, and, and how, what your performance is, then you are one of the, the basically one of the least, uh, the lowest performers in the in the clan. And that there's nothing I can do about that. That's their their system of of of, uh, of going through and I guess quantifying that. So if you're in limbo. Then you're just in an AFK clan, basically. And what I'll end up doing is with those, uh, if it gets to be too much of an AFK clan, I might just disband it. But honestly, there are a bunch of people that haven't played in like 60 days or whatever that helped build the original dojo. They put a lot of time and resources into it, and maybe they just haven't come back and played in 60 days. I don't want to basically rob them of their home just because they haven't showed up in a couple months. So, uh, I might just leave the Limbo ones alone, and all the Limbo clans will be the AFK clans, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, there's gonna be more than one, because I, I think we're gonna have, I think, probably 2,000 at least AFK people. And if they keep if they keep the pendings on the list, then I'll have an entire clan of pendings, which is totally possible, because I'll give them, you know, a, a, a Warlord, and uh, they can populate, the <laughs> Warlord shows up, so like, first day of work, so alright, what do I got? Oh, look at that, I have 1,000, or 999 pending. <laughs> Although I'm sure they're gonna purge the pending list. At least I hope they do. I wish they'd purge my friends list, actually. I have 1,500 people on my friends list. I, I was denying them, but it ended up being, I was getting so many of them I couldn't keep up. Can you believe that? I could not keep up. It's just, I appreciate it, but I can't get rid of, I can't get rid of all you guys. That's why we have BroFrame. So, so that's it. I'm, I'm very happy with this. I'm very excited. For this change, I think this is great—a great way to kind of categorize people and everything by activity. I think is is perfect, um, and I guess we'll see what happens. We, there's an event going on this weekend. We'll probably get some more information today. They released an image yesterday that looked kind of like—I uh, guess we're going to be going to the Grenier uh, homeland, which is the, it looks like Tatooine of sorts. Um, it's like a desert, arid, you know, wasteland. Who knows? But we'll find out more probably later today or tomorrow. Well, definitely tomorrow because yeah, I think the event's gonna start this weekend. It is starting this weekend, as a matter of fact. Um, and we'll be able to uh, hopefully, if if the changes are made, which I don't know if they're gonna do that that soon, we'll be able to go through and dominate. Now the the strike team will not be made this weekend, unfortunately. Um, but I will definitely go through and hit up those people who are the top performers in the guild. Or in the, in the alliance, and we'll separate them accordingly. Uh, D. E. Steve, very important. D. E. Steve did reply back to a tweet about about chat, like how we're gonna how we're gonna make that work. And chat is is actually going to work where everybody in the alliance is gonna be able to speak to each other. So I'm guessing it's gonna be another tab, which is kind of awesome. Now I don't know. I, I didn't see anything about warlord chat, right? Because no other no other alliance has as many warlords as we're gonna have. So I guess it's not a priority, which is fine. Uh, but the fact that we can still all communicate with each other, we guys, you guys can still go through and make uh, groups very easily at any time of the night, which is my original purpose of this clan. Is everybody can have, you know, a friend on demand. Uh, that's pretty awesome. By the way, right here, my gun jammed up. I tried switching weapons and I couldn't switch. I think I glitched it out. I don't know what I did, but I was sitting here like, uh, can't do this, can't do this, can't swap. I guess I'll just go ahead and leave. That was pretty much it. So, whoo! I am so looking forward to this. I think it's going to be amazing, and I hope you guys also uh, enjoy the route, the direction we're going to be going. We're still going to be the biggest, by far, alliance uh, in the uh, in the game, even if like all, all, like a ton of other alliances or clans banded together, because we can recruit other clans. Like if there's a clan like a Suro or something like that, it's like hey, we want to be part of Bro Frame, which they'll never do. Um, then 
We could be like, sure, come on over. And we could snatch him up. Well, I think maybe this is less than a thousand that we could do. But anyways, that's pretty awesome. So, so that's it, guys. I'll be looking forward to uh, to this change. I'll make an update video once it actually goes in and goes live. But until then, don't forget, bro frame is best frame. Number one.